good. My age is five. How do some logs float and, and how do some logs sink? I'm Rodney Schreiner, a scientist in the chemistry department at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It might be a surprise to some people that any logs sink because we're so used to seeing wood that floats. I have some samples of wood that I want to show you. One is a piece of cedar, which is rather light, and when I put it in water, it will do what most wood does, it floats on top. I also have a sample of oak. This is a much heavier piece, and it's sometimes called a hardwood. But still, when I put this in water, it also floats. Now I have a third piece of wood here. This is called ipe. It's from a tree that grows in Central and South America. When I put this in water, unlike the other two, it sinks all the way to the bottom. So what determines whether an object floats or sinks is the ratio of its volume to its weight, or rather, how much it weighs compared to its volume. If it weighs more than an equal volume of water, then it sinks, because the water can't hold it up. If it weighs less than an equal volume of water, then it floats, because the water can hold it up. Now this ratio between weight and volume is something we call density. So an object that is less dense than water can be held up by water, and so it floats. An object that is more dense than water can't be held up, and so it sinks. Why do some logs float and some sink? Well, the ones that float are less dense than the ones that sink. Why are they less dense? Because they have a lot of openings in them. Why do they have openings in them? Because they come from trees with very thick sap. Thick sap takes big openings to flow through. Thin, watery sap needs only small openings. So wood that floats has big openings, wood that sinks has very tiny openings.